Richard Adam is just something else on another level. Day in, day out, whenever he comes about with something, with a statement worth giving a second thought about, you always get to question yourself, what is this person trying to insinuate? I didn't have this whole piece of King Charles, I should stop bullying Prince Andrew and start bullying the Sarsiclas. Like, what's not happening with that Richard Adam? What is he basically trying to insinuate what does he want from the star success because no day passes by without him having something cruel to say about harry and megan not a day passes by without such thing happening but they are just peter they no longer have control over harry and megan that one bothers them so much the issue, the Windsors, the press and part of the public have with the star success is that the two people dared to stand up and reject powerful institution, royal family and press. This attitude infuriates the weak, the cowards, the inadequate and especially those with the servant mindset. Those who don't know their worth, those who don't know what is expected of them, those who, know, who don't know what to stand for, are the ones who are out and about here, backing, yapping, and ranting about that. That's what they are out here doing. They now want a father who already turned, you know, his back over her sons for years. Long time to now kind of start bullying him physically. What do these people want? The success are the best version of people that I can ever say I've ever seen. Because they stand for what is right. They preach nothing but equality. They preach nothing but peace, love to the lesser privilege. Charles has supported Andrew and done everything he can to punish and hurt his son, Eden is a scum. Just shows that he supports Andrew and what he has done over a prince marrying a biracial woman, which has sense is worse than what Andrew is accused of. Those people can go to whatever extra miles it takes to protect the evil ones. Those who are supposed to be facing consequences behind bars and always want to torment the genuine people. What's not happening with that institution? What's not happening with Adam? What is that problem? What's his problem? Somebody also commented and say, I don't know about anyone, but I sense desperation from Eden and the Windsor's plan. Did anyone see that a major American media outlet said that the UK is sinking into irrelevancy? This is serious. It is indeed sinking into irrelevancy, incompetency, because of what they do, because of what they've just decided to spend their time in, and that is hating people who aren't hating back that is fighting people who aren't fighting back and that's why i name it a one-sided fight it's indeed serious and this is so crazy 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 so in the uk today it is okay to bully a prince for marrying a biracial foreigner and protecting himself and family from abuse but the one who was accused of sexual assault had a pride of friends and got elderly mother to pay off his accusers should be left alone. Eden is such an evil little person. That's what we view him for because of what he tends to want to show people that he stands for. He's ready to support a sexually accused person, sexually assaulted but not wanting who found genuine love and happiness in somebody just because he married a foreigner 
That one seems to be the worst thing I ever did. These people are something else on another level. But either way, let's see how far they get with this. But not too long. Everything will for sure come to an end. The palos could benefit from improved psychological call care. Prince Harry always looks unhappy and healthy. Tense and angry, glad that Prince Harry seems much happier now outside the constraints of royal family. Good King Harry deserves nothing but the best. And that's what he went out there to cultivate. That's why he decided to forge his own path for the betterment of himself and every other person close to him. Eden bully the Sussex has because Prince Harry about to humiliate and expose his rug daily fail for illegal phone hacking. Probably that could be among us the things that he's given him sleepless nights. He ain't ready for them to get exposed yet. And this is what Kaiser had to say. Buckingham Palace has been trying to deflect from a variety of bad news. From the star success going on yet another successful tour to whatever the hell is going on with Prince William and Kat to King Charles's torn deaf approach to the South Pole stabling and the subsequent white nationalist riots in England. All of that is why the Paulos pushed yet another story last weekend about how Charles is cutting off Prince Andrew's private security. The Paulos hoped that this would be a popular move with the media. Instead, the mood is more like, why is Charles so damn petty? Why does he treat his family members this way? The Daily Mail even published a piece from Richard Aden about how Charles should stop bullying Prince Andrew and take all of that mean petty energy and put it on Prince Harry and Meghan naturally. That's how bad they are obsessed with wanting to see Harry and Meghan's lives torn down. That's where the level of desperation has taken them to. The cracks are over so many royal problems. The king ought to turn his side on Harry and Meghan before they set off on yet another trouble, making Fox royal tour. First of all, the palace is already issuing talking points to the media and trying to impose themselves on the star success. But what exactly does Adam think Charles is supposed to do about the two adults, one of them, an American, traveling to various countries and highlighting charities and issues? Is Charles supposed to do order to order them to stop? But that's another impossible thing, because Sussex has or no one any explanation, and they won't stop just because some certain characters are uncomfortable. No doubt they are angry that Harry and Meghan forged their correct path out here. They are angry that Harry and Meghan managed to navigate. And you know what? They did it good. They did it better. It is indeed massive. I don't know what you have to say, what you're thinking. Just let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Hoping to see you guys in our next more videos to come.